will say that Mr. Modi has redrawn the way elections are fought. Uh, I know, see, my uh, comparison uh, would not be, be liked no, by no, both no, sides, but sure, I, I'm just making sure. this comparison purely on this aspect of people voting directly for Indira Gandhi, same way people are voting directly sure, for Sure, but Gandhi. there will be those who will say that the BJP is now, or Mr. Modi, is drawing on a mix of state power, of media power and religion to overpower the opposition. So the opposition has no space in India to, to, to compete anymore. See, any leader who builds that kind of brand would have some ideological backing to his or her positioning. Indira Gandhi was also seen as Indira is India, India is Indira. Mm -hmm. She had this charisma and, you know, the control over state machinery as we call it in totality, mm -hmm. be it judiciary, election commission, media all together. So it's not that this is the first time we are seeing something of that in India. It has happened before. In between, we have seen uh, a coalition government where this con absolute control has probably gone a little down. And uh, also, as a society, we have evolved. Those systems are a little bit more robust than what it used to be, say, in 70s or 80s. But we have seen the abuse of power by those who have run this country, whether it was 356, using or misusing election commission and uh, media. It's not a new phenomena per se. The extent or the degree could vary. Mm -hmm. depending on who you are and who is analyzing the situation, could choose to say, no, 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 the earlier one was bad, but not this bad. But it, the, as a society, as a country, we have seen it. No, no, the reason I'm asking you this is today opposition leaders are blaming EVMs, want us to go back to ballot papers. Others are saying the enforcement directorate is simply targeting opposition leaders. Institutions like the election commission have been captured. A defeatist mentality or a... A wound, a victor, a sense of victimhood has gripped the opposition. That everybody, some hamare khilaf ho gaye The system is against us today. I, I, I doubt. I, I doubt. You don't that. agree with that? No, I don't agree. If that is the case, I heard Rahul Gandhi saying that free media, give media, make media free, ED, CBI free, election commission free, and I will win. Yes. Somebody need to just ask a commonsensical question. That in 2014 you were in the power. Media was very much under you. Election Commission, Judiciary, and entire system was under you. How did you came to 45? They, argue, you, no, they argue the BJP and Mr. Modi have misused uh, these powers the, that you I, have. They I, have misused just, state just, power. Just, Rajdeep, stick to that logic. That if Congress party is losing only because of ED, CBI, machiner, election machinery, and media, etc., then how did they lose in 2014? Just tell me that. So I'm saying if you lose... Whoever is in power, definitely they will use and would have some strategic advantage because they have control, they have more resource. But these advantages were with you when you were in power. Still, you were defeated. You know, and BJP with all these powers, it's not that they are not losing elections. They have lost many elections in the last five no, years. No, Prashant, the reason I, you know, today, interestingly, Malikarjun Kharge, the Congress president has gone to the extent of saying, if Mr. Modi wins, this could be India's last free and fair election. Well, I am not one of those who believe, I, and I could be wrong, but I, for many years now I have been telling this because he is not the first one. Many people have raised this issue. Arvind Kejriwal has said this many times. Other leaders have also said this. Many commentators also believe, and they say this in private also. I don't think uh, I am one of those who believe that Mr. Modi can completely hijack the whole system here change the constitution, become, uh, will become a dictator, and India would have no longer a democratic setup. I think we are underestimating the might and the wisdom of the common people here. Uh, nobody, no matter how, how strong that individual or party is, nobody can steamroll India and 1.3 billion Indians. Indians are pretty smart. They, they know where to give power and where to put the brake. You have seen in the last five years the same Mr. Modi has not been able to win estates as easily as he used to do, say, between 2014 and 2019. And if you go to villages, and I know you travel, Rajdeep, a lot, you would hear many common people saying, Are sab power ekhi ke haath mein thodi dena hai. Aap usse jab poochte ho, ki bhai, Lok Sabha aur Vihan Sabha mein alag alag kyo dete ho? Aap Vihan Sabha mein Karnatak mein Congress ko jitaro, Lok Sabha mein kehro, Modi ko dunga. Toh le, nahi, ekhi aadmi ke haath mein sabko power nahi dena hai. Common people have this understanding. No, is that a trend that therefore is here to stay? That the same voter 
who may have voted, let's say, in Karnataka six months ago for Sidharamaya, may well vote for Mr. Modi uh, in the general election. Same voter who may have voted for Mamta Banerjee in Bengal two, three years ago may well vote for uh, Mr. Modi. We are seeing very distinct changes between Vidhan Sabha and Lok Sabha, and they can only grow in the future. Well, uh, this could be argued both ways. I, I have been telling this that if you want to challenge BJP, this one data point should give you a lot of strength and courage and hope. Is that Mr. is Mr. Modi's ability to fetch vote for himself versus his ability to get vote for his colleagues or his party. If you look at data from 2014 till now, between 2014 to 20, 2019, the BJP's underperformance in assembly elections were roughly around three percentage point. Mm. That means in Vidhan Sabha, only three percentage point BJP vote share was three percentage point lower than the Lok Sabha. Between 2014 to 2019, now the underperformance in Vidhan Sabha for BJP is close to 9 to 10 percentage point. 10 percentage point. So that means there are less and this is the declining ability of Mr. Modi to transfer vote. The double they, engine model is therefore is not working as effectively when it comes to state elections. No, I'm, I double When Mr. Modi is not on the ticket, the BJP It will is that much more difficult. I wouldn't say it is not working, but I'm saying it is that much more difficult for Mr. Modi to continue getting vote for his uh, his party colleagues or his state governments who in eyes of people may or may not have delivered. Because one other major trend that... Earlier is, between 2000 to 2019, whoever Mr. Modi wanted, he said, vote for him, you, I will deliver, then people voted. Sure. But so, if the state governments have not delivered, people are not taking Mr. Modi's word as gospel truth and voting for them. They are still giving it to him. But in the state elections, they are voting very differently. So that's one big difference between 2014-19 and 2019 to 24. The other trend uh, which one notices is north versus south. We mentioned how north and west, the BJP's 80 to 90 percent seats or they dominated 90 percent of the seats in western and northern India, Hindi heartland in particular. On the other hand, in the south and the east also, the BJP has found it much more difficult. Is that a trend also which you believe is here to stay? No, 